Hello, Paul is best for UK here, and welcome to another video. So today we're looking at Turbo Eight One, and uh, yeah, we're already asking for this too. So we're going to have to do that now. So I'm just going to do that on the uh, virtual environment here. I've got F12 support on my keyboard finally, so I can do that a lot easier than I could before. Uh, Win UAE. So yeah, this too. There it is, and uh, let's start the game. We'll just into this too. So yeah, back in the day, we would need more than one disc on some games, and this is one of them, of course. So we're looking at Turbo Eight One. There it is from Sega. So disc one must have loaded part of the data in to uh, get it into the RAM, and then disc two loads the rest of the game. Yep, just common practice on the Amiga, uh, on the SNES or Super Nintendo, etc. You've got uh, enough space in the cartridge space to have it all in one board. On the Amiga, sometimes you have to load part of it from the disc 1 and then part of it from disc 2 and even up to disc 10 if you're looking at games such as Monkey Island 2. You think that's bad? You want to try installing Windows 95 from a proper disc? <laughs> I'm not going there. Okay so this is Turbo 8 1 on the uh, the uh, Commodore Vega. Oh, of course it's cracked by someone. That's all these files seem to be online. Right okay let's start the game. So we've got quite nice music in the background, so we've got manual or automatic transmission, just like the arcade coin-up. Interestingly, the arcade coin-up was uh, a daughter board for the original 8-1 cabinet, originally. And um, it would still have the original 8-1 decal decals on the cabinet. Well, let's see how this one plays. Okay, so this is Turbo 8-1 on the Commodore Amiga. Quite slow. Music's pretty nice. I'll show up a minute so you can listen. So if you've ever played Amiga or Atari ST version of the original that one, you'll know that it's a bit crap. Uh, this isn't that much better to be honest. At least I've got rid of that hideous GUI system that they had, where you've you to you've got pulled down menus. That was a stupid idea. I don't know what possessed them to do that on a game like that one. It makes no sense. Uh, out on the original, on the Amiga and ST, wasn't a great game. It wasn't fun to play. This, to be honest, seems a little bit more fun to play. It's still got a hideous frame rate, which you mean you can definitely do a lot better. But at least we've lost that stupid poor down menu system. Uh, music changes on each level autonomously, we don't have to worry about that. Graphics are slightly better as well, and it feels more like an Air one game, to be honest. That original one wasn't that great, to be honest. Uh, let me know in the comments if you liked the original eight one on the Amiga. I definitely didn't. I mean, normally I've got nostalgic uh, because I did have it back in the day, or my late father did, and I used to play on my late father's Amiga. And yeah, you would think it would have nostalgic value, but I didn't really like the uh, Amiga version of eight one the original game but yeah this is a bit of an improvement if I do say it's got more going for it to be honest it seems to play better I don't know I don't know something about it the playability is better we've got the introduction of parallax squad in the horizon uh, it's a bit slow a bit choppy it's not the best frame rate unfortunately you've got the additional bonus of the turbo of course I don't think the music is shared with the uh, home versions of the coin up machine. Doesn't sound the same to me. You've got the additional police on this version as well, so you've got to be careful of that. You've got your overheat bar as well, so you don't want to waste that turbo. Every time a new le level will load, it will load it from floppy. It's a bit more seamless than, say, the Spectrum, where you have to press play on tape. Well, the tape version, of course. But yeah, this is a Turbo 8 one. 
Actually, saying that, the spectral version of Turbo X1 could load into 128k RAM if you had the 128k machine, that was pretty cool. No loading in between levels. Does spoil a bit, doesn't it, when there's a multi load between each section? Well, yeah, that's a Turbo 8 one on the uh, Commodore Amiga. It's not great. In fact, I prefer the ST version. Dare I say it. Music's quite nice on this version, though. I'm going to give Turbo 8 one on the uh, Commodore Amiga a uh, 6 out of 10. I think it could have been better. I think it could have been optimised more. Yes, it wasn't program great. I'm sure the Amiga can do better than this, if I'm honest. But it's still not bad. It's not It's not the worst game I've played. And, uh, yep, so that's Turbo right? one on the uh, Commodore Amiga. So, uh, I'm going to give... Well, I've already said what I'm going to give it. 6 out of 10. So, uh, thank you for watching. Have a pleasant evening. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!